The organization that I founded and I'm the director of, it's an NGO called Guyana Environment Initiative. And the organization was established back in 2014 and it focuses on awareness and education on sustainable environmental practices in Guyana. We execute a series of educational awareness activities across primary and secondary schools in Guyana. And we usually tailor the content for students depending on primary or secondary school, so it's appropriate to their age range. And we make the content in a very digestible way for students so that they're able to understand and connect with it in their everyday lives. The mainstreaming of sustainable energy is most important to the Caribbean because we are heavily impacted by the effects. And as a small island and developing state, we must press for commitment and action from the global players to ensure that they reduce carbon emissions. We tend to encourage young girls here in Guyana to get involved in STEM because um, it, it's, it's a way to break the barriers and the stereotypes that it's a male-dominated field. And by them pursuing um, studies and careers in STEM, they, 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 we now have an equal and a more balanced approach in the way we address sustainable energy. I personally would like to see advanced in our region is policy infrastructure that require new developments in the, the infrastructural field to use alternative and renewable energy sources. When we go on the global scene and we call for the global emitters, the large emitters of the world, and we call on them to reduce their emissions, we have this to say, hey, we're not emitting large amounts and we're able to transition and we're making the effort and you can do so too. So this is my thought and this is something that I really want to see happen and I believe is highly possible with our leaders in Caritas.